Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to this quick uh, reminder Muslim do where uh, they do a positive difference and influence in the community in North America. Today's uh, talking, it is an ongoing talk about dealings, mu'amalat. Now, in forms of dealings, you'll find some people, they want your loyalties or they think they gain your loyalties by gossiping and transferring certain information to you and certain um, ill talk against you, whether it's true or not, or half of it, half of it is true and the rest uh, fabricated. So therefore, من كان بالناس جبار الخواطر وقاه الله من المخاطر. Those who go around people to mend their hearts and to mend their feelings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would protect them from hardship and from calamities and from trouble. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, a matter of transferring um, ill talk and um, carrying and delivering this baggage of uh, a terrible, toxic uh, news, whether true or not, this is actually one of the wars that devastate and derail, deteriorate a relationship. Um, take a look at uh, Khalid ibn al-Walid, may Allah be pleased with him, when a person came to him and said, so and so fulan, fulan, ذكركه بالسوء, فقال, صحيفته يملأه بما يشاء. He said to Khalid ibn al-Walid, may Allah be pleased with him, that this person ill spoke of you. Look at that. I mean, what kind of a favor you are doing? A person when you come and give them terrible news. So Khalid ibn al-Walid said, it's his sahifa, that means it's his book of deeds. He could fill it with whatever he wants. So that means he would fill it with evil deeds. As a matter of fact, actually, a gossiping person or a person who transfer gossip will lose their good deeds. And what does that mean? It means your hard work, your sadaqat, your siyam, your qiyam, your fasting, your charity, it will be paid for him in the day of judgment. That person you hate and the person you don't like you give them the best of what you do and all you, I mean, most of your deeds or some of your deeds that you work hard for, you give it to someone you don't like in the day of judgment. That's the currency. Another uh, person, Wahb, Wahb, they came to him and said, uh, this fulan ill spoke of you. And then he said, Ama wajad shaytan rasul ghayrak? When a person told him that this person or fulan so and so ill spoke of you, Wahab answered in a simple, cool way, Satan, the shaitan, did not find any messenger except you. So that means when you transfer, when you deliver ill talk and gossip, you are the messenger of the shaitan. How many homes, how many houses, how many relationships devastated by just ill talk being delivered to a person could have been spared from that uh, destruction or from that uh, pain in the heart. Like um, a man, uh, they came to him and they told him that so and so fulan ill talk of you, against you, gossiped against you, mentioned you in a bad way. So he answered in a cool, comfortable way. He said, he hit me with a sahm. Ramani bi sahm. Walam yusibni. Walakinnaka atayta bi sahm wa arastahu fi qalbi. He said, that person who gossiped against me, he hit me with a, an arrow but that arrow did not reach my heart. You took the arrow and you stuck it in my heart. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us just realize that muamalat, um, muamalat, dealings, it's not de 
deteriorating relations and derailing relations and devastating relations. Dealing is supposed to be leaning on each other, helping on each other, bringing the best in each other, sending and spreading positive energy. Rasulullah sallallahu even Rasulullah sallallahu said, don't talk to me about my uh, companions because I like to come to you with a qalb and salim. I would like to come to you with a pure heart. So my wonderful brothers and sisters, in uh, many relationship, many divorce happening because of gossip. And listen, the tongue, it is a strong muscle that has no bones in it, but it can destroy our uh, bones and, and, and break our bones and destroy our hasanat. So watch your tongue in the mu'amalat. Watch your tongue, guard your tongue, amlik Watch your tongue, guard your tongue, amlik alayka lisanak, wal yasa'ka baytuk, wabki ala khati'atik. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best of Allah's creation said, amlik alayka lisanak, means get a grip, means control your tongue. Wal yasa'ka baytuk, means be in a privacy with good deeds at your home and cry for your sins. Wabki ala khati'atik. So therefore, the tongue, loose tongue, a tongue that has no control, will drop people, will dump people on their face on the hellfire. It is authentic. So, wonderful brothers and sisters, إِنْ كَانَ فِيهِ مَا قُلْتْ فَقَدْ اِغْتَبْتَهُ وَإِنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ فَقَدْ بَهَتَّهُ فَقَدْ ظَلَمْتَهُ or Buhtan, which is a great, uh, great transgression. If you gossip against person, and what you said against him behind his back, truly in, applies to him, you committed ghiba, gossip, which is a, a great sin. And if, if what you said about him does not apply to him, that means you committed buhtan. Buhtan is a great transgression. So wonderful brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to control our tongue because the tongue could be your horse to carry you to the Jannah or to dump you on the hellfire. With Mu'amalat, never think that you gain someone's loyalty by gossiping against someone or by delivering and transmitting and transferring information that he else spoke of him. And of course, somebody would say, oh, this person coming to marry uh, uh, his daughter and I have to give him certain truth about him. That's totally different. Well, if that person drinking, if that person does not make salah, that's not considered gossip when you talk. Actually, that is that's your enjoining in goodness and piety, right? So wonderful brothers and sisters, a reminder is not just meant to be for someone to talk and you listen. No big deal. The big deal that you put the talking into a walking, you put it into a practice. So if you benefit one thing from today's reminder to guard your tongue, to guard your tongue, another thing to realize you will never gain someone's loyalty by gossiping away someone or transferring someone's gossip. And you realize that you are Satan representative when you transfer a gossip. So what does that mean? It means your silence worth a lot. Your silence worth a lot. And it's worth more if you use your tongue with dhikrullah. If you use your tongue to mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this way you gain comfort in the heart, comfort in the mind. الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَتَطْمَئِنُّ قُلُوبًا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ أَلَا بِذِكْرِ اللَّهِ تَطْمَئِنَّ الْقُلُوبِ Those who believe and their hearts find comfort in the remembrance of Allah. Truly hearts find comfort in the remembrance of Allah. You will never gain comfort by being a courier for gossip, a courier to spread gossip, a person who would just be a Satan representative. May Allah forbid. May Allah keep loving you, blessing you for another episode. 
Muslim do, we say, stay blessed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.